Well, good morning. If it's morning when you're listening to this, I guess you noticed something different. I don't have my biking helmet on this morning. I actually have a different hat. A man of many hats. <laughs> so, doing the right thing when nobody's looking. That's kind of uh, the definition of integrity. But I would add that it's God's virtues and not the world's virtues that we have integrity with. You know, and I've really been, um, just really been sensing the integrity issues that we have in the world, whether it's in our work with our, uh, with the people that we work with, uh, business relationships, friends, family, um, politics, oh my gosh, forever, the church even, integrity issues, and um, it's something that I hold dearly, and that's my integrity, and I don't want to lose it, and so I really want to just talk about it for just a minute and try to encourage you to continue to have integrity and build on it, because you really have to fight for it today. You really do. Um, I, just the other day, I was sitting on uh, the patio of a condominium that uh, is over on the Isla Golf Course, and I was sitting there, and the fairway runs right alongside there, and I was watching some guys play golf. I watched two guys coming down the fairway, and I'm about 50 yards from the green, and uh, I saw one guy hit the ball, and I was watching it, and then all of a sudden, I feel something whiz by my ear and hit the wall in behind me there in the, uh, in the patio area, and I immediately just kind of got, like, mad because nobody hollered for nobody said anything and I started uh, really just getting worked up and as that man started driving over towards me I thought about the tongue lash and I was fixing to give him for almost hitting me and who knows obviously what would have happened if the ball would have hit me because it was moving <clears throat> extremely fast so something happened when he got about halfway there and I had a check in my spirit and he pulled up and I said, wow, you almost hit me with that golf ball. And he just looked kind of, uh, I don't know if embarrassed maybe or whatever it was, but um, he's, he was apologizing to me and my spirit was just calm. It was the Holy Spirit in me. I mean, that's it. It wasn't me. I couldn't do this on my own. And that, I think that's a big thing with most people is they try to rely on their own strength. You know, I'm on a pull myself up by my uh, bootstraps and, and do this thing, you know, and there's nothing wrong with having a strong will when it comes to doing the right thing, but sometimes we need to learn how to rely on some help. And so in that particular situation, I received help outside of my own um, ability. And so the man, you know, said, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I said, you know, I said, uh, I said, look, I said, I said, go on. I said, don't worry about it and don't let it ruin your day. Okay. Enjoy your day. Don't, don't worry about it. And so it's just things like that in our life that, you know, one step at a time, you know, you take one step towards God. He always takes two steps back towards you. If you have confrontation, you know, I'll tell you something right now. If I would have reacted differently in that situation, and I have in many instances reacted wrong. Don't get me wrong by what I'm saying here. I've done it wrong a lot uh, because it's self-fulfilling for a minute to, to you know, to, to let it all go and not have any restraint. But I will tell you in the long run, it will come back and haunt you. If I'd have reacted the wrong way, I would have carried that with me the rest of the day, and I would have had, I would have not had um, a good day. It would have been bad. But when I left there, I felt good about it. I knew I'd done the right thing. So look, you got to protect your integrity at all costs. It's something that you don't want to lose. If there's a situation that starts riling you up, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Do the right thing when nobody's looking and ask for God's help. Proverbs says that God watches those who walk upright and takes care of them. Do you want God to take care of you? Well, I believe he will. I know he will. Walk upright, ask for his help, do the right thing, never let go of your integrity. And I will tell you, 
just like this little warning sign back here says beware of the gators i would tell you to beware of not walking in integrity have a great day look forward to seeing you again soon and may you be blessed and protected